Jane Korir is among hundreds of Kenyans evicted from the Mau forest in July. It's in the Rift Valley, Kenya's most important water catchment area. Government officials say in the last two decades, the forest has lost many of its trees because of logging, charcoal burning, illegal settlements, and increased agriculture. Korir tells us she's a forest dweller from the Ogiek community, and the Mao is her home. The only solution is to permanently settle us in our ancestral land. All governments found us in the forest, but have never found a proper alternative place for us. We have suffered for many years. Some of the displaced have sought shelter in schools. This grandmother says it's the third time she's been evicted in as many years. The controversy over land ownership around the Mao forest has been going on for decades. People here live on the edge, always ready to flee from government forces or other hostile communities. Everyone we talked to said they're tired and want a permanent solution. In just over 40 years, hundreds of thousands of people from different communities moved into the forest and surrounding areas. Some are said to have illegally obtained title deeds for land where the Ogiek was supposed to be settled. Others were brought here from other parts of the country to increase votes for certain politicians during elections. The battle over ownership of the land has often resulted to ethnic clashes. Ogiek rights campaigner Daniel Kobe shows us remains of fighting following the recent evictions. He says the community has won court cases, including in the African Court on Human Rights, where judges ruled in favor of their right to live in the forest or be settled elsewhere. What we want is an Ogie community land, well protected, because we have seen that the title deeds are the cause of the problem. Government officials say some of the 52,000 Ogie have been resettled, but a few sold off their land. Influential people also grabbed much of it, and the process has since been politicized. Any area covered by indigenous forests, nobody will touch. They will not touch it. Because you touch that, you have destroyed the country completely. This is an emotive issue that has often led to death and despair. Here, government surveyors meet hostile villagers as they inspect a 1997 forest boundary, which has been adjusted several times leaving large swathes of forest land unprotected. The people say they're tired of boundary changes and they're tired of fighting. Catherine Soy, Al Jazeera, Mao Forest, Kenya.